always a bit upsetting at the end, isn't it? It was always going to be a tricky film um, because it's dark, you know, someone dies and, and, and because there is a big machine and an industry at play and there's money, there's a big mega amounts of money and as we started to talk to all of the individuals, I could see there was a lot of anger, there's a lot of guilt, there's a lot of feeling there. So it was trying to find the right balance where, you know, you just let the story tell itself. You watch the film, the, the footage and the voices explain what's going on, but the audience is still able to make their own minds up. I think like anybody who sees the film, there were certain moments of revelation about her deep, deep talent. Her voice, of course, you know, it's a great voice, but there are times when she sings where even now when I watch the film again, I'm completely struck by what a resonant voice, how powerful that is. How big do you think you're going to be? I don't. At all, because, you know, my music is not on that scale. The music is not on that scale. Sometimes I wish it was, but I don't think I'm going to be at all famous. If this were a fiction film, there'd be like a key moment that changed her life or whatever. With, with the real life, my God, there's 500 reasons why things turned out the way they did. And, you know, we've put in a few of them in the movie, but there's even more. So, you know, you realise that she had bulimia from a very young age. You realise that her mother says, you know, she, she wasn't able to be motherly to her. Amy herself says her father wasn't around when she was growing up. And all of that, somehow she finds her way through by writing. Writing and performing gives her a release and gives her a way out of feeling down. The problem is when those records become hugely successful, they create their own problems. Because people that she's broken up with, that she's written about, suddenly are back on the scene because she's rich and successful now. Other people that maybe didn't pay much attention to her suddenly back around again. And there's an entourage, you know, there's people that hang us on. And, and I guess the big thing happened was that the media changed. You know, she happened to be the person that was the biggest star at the time when the media went digital in this country. You know, and you've got different news organisations fighting one another, phone hacking's going on in the background, and then you've got this girl that just keeps providing them with photos and material and keeps doing something or another, and people around her selling stories. And this is, you only see this when you connect all the footage up and you realise everyone was a part of it, everybody was making money. The, the cab drivers were selling where she was going, you know, whatever. It was all became normal. It's mayhem. And, um, and the audience are a part of it, you know, people were buying tickets to see her in shows because it's like, let's see her before she dies. Let's push her to sing Rehab. We don't want to hear any other song. She's sitting there with, you know, a huge glass of wine singing Rehab. People were clicking on those YouTube videos, people were sharing them on Facebook. Um, that's what, it just became normal, the comedians making fun of her. This whole media circus was built around this kid that, you know, had problems. You know, the honest truth is she had a mental illness. I think it's not so funny when you think about it that way, but nobody seemed to notice or care. I don't think I knew what depression was. I knew I felt funny sometimes when I was different. I think it's a musician thing. That's why I write music. Mm -hmm. I'm not like some messed up person, you know. There's a lot of people that suffer with depression that don't have an outlet, do you know what I mean? Pick up the guitar for an hour and feel better. She became this sort of, you know, the butt of this kind of tabloid bad joke towards the end of her life. And I really think that given this sort of reaction to the film so far, she comes out of the movie great. And I think that's a, that's a really positive thing. And I'm, that, I'm really proud of that actually because she was a really unique talent that should have been looked after better by, you know, the wider and the closer people around her. And, um, you know, if we've redressed that kind of tabloid image of her, then I'll be really happy because she deserves better than that. I'm not a girl trying to be a star. I'm just a girl that sings. <laughs>